Hey folks, this is David with a fish. A couple more things I want to cover on Y worms. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how do you know when they're about done? Number one, you take the lid off and the odor has changed. It's not like it'll be when they are done, but it's different. And you start to get streaks of them, not individuals. Next question is, why do I put the this stuff on here? See, when you do it this way, you get worms on here that don't have any food, don't have any dirt, they're clean. So, you can, it's easier to do if you just leave it there, scrape them up, you get these little plastic putty knives at Home Depot, like a whole stack of them for a couple of bucks big ones and little ones but you can scrape them right off uh, I had these out earlier while I had some things going on and the worms kind of disappeared on me but as you can see they'll also start to collect real tight on the edge uh, now this is from where I fed two days ago and you can see there's a, no shortage of worms. The other thing you get, and most of this is experience, the bread gets wet on top. That means it soaks so much moisture out of the dirt that it's wet on top. That's way too much moisture. Now, then you'll get, let's see if we can see it. We got lots of worms. And then you start to get, it gets weird. I know, scientific term there. Your worm media gets weird. There's still millions of worms. No shortage of worms. But it just gets a weird texture to it. Uh, and that really tells you you're getting to be a short time on this stuff. Now I got this stuff all over my hands. Isn't that disgusting? Don't want to lick your fingers. So, that means this one's moving along, but it's not there yet. But tomorrow may be my last harvest. The other thing you'll get is when you scrape it off, see it just it sticks together. It's not nice, loose, moist stuff anymore. Now, if you come up here, this is some nice soil up here. Uh, I filled in some of these areas here, but I don't think this is the one I did it on. So, I'm going to scoop off the stuff we have here. I'm not going to give this one too much to eat because I know it's getting ready to say goodnight. I'm going to put some out here where I know it's real good. And we'll keep a close eye on this one. Tomorrow will probably be the last harvest on it. And then it'll be time to get it outside. Much safer outside. Now, these are the ones I had in the last video that have been getting fed every, every four or five days. And they've really been knocked back. So, as we're feeding... You can see they're beating the stuff off. But we're not getting the numbers that we want. But if we dig down in here, there's no shortage of worms. Man, there's plenty of worms. They just haven't got the everything going on, so they're they're happy to get up on top on top of that mesh so I can grab them. There's a little bit up here I'm going to grab. And I think we have one more plus my new one. Okay, here's one more established one. Remember, these have been getting really lousy feeding routine. 
So we've fallen all the way back to eating the yogurt and the brewer's yeast. But we'll get them built back up pretty quick. And this should be the new one. Yes, it is. And the new one. See, they've eaten all the yogurt. This is this is good. I mean, it's only two-day-old culture. And they've already eaten all the yogurt off and the brewer's yeast off. So it'll be getting a good start. And we will give them two more pieces here. The bread's dirt cheap, so don't worry about throwing away bread that, you, that in your mind is still perfectly good. If it hasn't got the worms happy, it's not good. All right, now, I'm going to give this water here a quick rinse. There's some folks out there telling you that you can freeze these white worms. Well, I've never tried it. So I'm going to turkey baster a bunch up, put into about a half, three quarter inch of water. Put my lid on and can you tell who's waiting for their wormy bread? All right, since you're down here, I always have to save a piece of the wormy bread. It sticks to the roof of his mouth sometimes. I know. Oh, we can make. Four pieces? Oh, we can make five bites out of that. Oh, good boy. Here you go. Okay, lick up the fingers. Oh, that go warm me, bread? Good for you. All right, we got to get back to work now. So, we're going to, since I'm working with one hand, Open up the freezer. Make sure nobody decides this is going to be food for anything. And we're going to put these worms right there. So there they are. We're going to freeze them. Then we're going to thaw them out and see what that mess looks like. So this is David with the fish. We got us a little experiment. A couple more problems with white worms. And can you freeze them? We'll be back in a couple hours after this is good and frozen. Thanks for watching this far. Hey everyone, this is David with the fish. About four or five days ago, I took some white worms and froze them. And yep, they froze. Uh, initial observations, I ain't got a clue. Other than I definitely use too much water because I have no idea how I'm going to get them out. Um, so if you do try and do this, you don't want to use much water. Uh, so I'm going to make a stab here with the hammer method. Yeah, you know how big a mess this is going to make? This is disgusting. Let's try the hammer method. Maybe I can contain, contain what's going to fly. Alright, we got some worms in there. There's some more. I will say it's a lot easier to just grow worms and feed them. And the off chance this works, I'm going to put this back in the freezer. 
And my definite first tip to you will be, if you're going to try this, just use barely enough water to cover them up. Alright, I've given these 10-15 minutes to thaw out. And I have to say, I'm amazed they've more or less kept their shape. The water's pretty clear. What I truly expected was they'd just explode all over the place and be disgusting. But they appear to have held their shape and stayed in place. Uh, you know, I raise enough worms every day that it's a cute little experiment, but I'm going to feed fresh. Let's see if anybody will eat these things. I'm sure they will. Huh, they sink a lot slower. That's weird. It's very strange. And of course they don't move. Well, it does look like they're still going to eat them. At least they're going to run around with them. Some gardener eye and a deary reds. Looks like they're sucking them up, same as if they were real. So. have to say that uh, this experiment was quite a bit different than I thought it was going to be. I really thought they would all fall apart. They seem to have held up. And the fish seem to still eat them. So I guess if you got a whole lot left and you don't have any more coming, you could freeze them. Just don't use very much water because you can't get them out of the water probably don't want to use the hammer method. Lucky that didn't shoot all over the place. Uh, I don't have any problem having worms whenever I want them, so this is just like a little experiment for you guys. Doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. Uh, this is David with the fish. Freezing and thawing white worms. Do it if you want. Thank you for watching.